Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Swan Song campaign, our favorite um, difficult campaign of Battletech where everything's cranked up to the maximum. Let's take a look at the star map. I promised you that I would do some work in behind the uh, screen. And I did that. We are now in the Principia system. We got a couple of other news for you. Still 750 days remaining, but take a look at the reputation. Finally managed to um, go all the way up to honored with the Capellian Confederation and the pirates at the same time. So those will be our two factions on top of which we have purchased, as indicated, the Atlas. And I also invested some money into uh, the Atlas's gear. Got some LM, uh, LRM 15 plus pluses, some of the lasers. And we also got some of the higher communication systems. So matter of fact, this is going to be our new LRM boat, Quasi. He also has a USC 10, so kind of mid-range. Uh, yeah, mid-range fire support. Annihilator and Bullshark will still be the front line. The Orion, yep, works as uh, Max so far, but I would really like to upgrade him. And that brings us to the next huge find that I had. So within the system, there is another black market. And look at that, uh, there is an Atlas II available, three parts. And for those of you who are unaware, the Atlas II is the very best mech in the entire game. Uh, it is an Star League mech that will typically have dual, um, du uh, dual heat sinks. Since they are coming without any equipment, you're not going to like get that uh, full fully fledged and equipped atlas however the atlas 2 is one of the few mechs is running 60 heat reduction just with its chassis because he's a pre-star league model and it also has just enormous amounts of room so that'll cost us around 6.7 million uh, credits which means we gotta make sure that we will do all of uh, the contracts. We were moderately lucky with the contracts. We got at least a couple of pirate uh, contracts right here. And this one's potentially the biggest, a lot of almost five star uh, missions. This here has just a, a ginormous amount of uh, salvage that we could get. And this one here has a good amount as well. But like you know, the Atlas 2 is available. So I'll potentially go for the million. Oh, wow, that is against the Capellian Confederation. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Second time. Uh -huh. Okay. I just worked so hard to get that reputation up. Damn it. Not good. I was hoping they would also work, uh, work against uh, the um, the lion the lion faction here. Hmm. Okay. Well, still got to do it because I want that mech. It's a fantastic mech, and you guys will see a couple of five star missions. So let's get in with our new team. Got the Atlas here. Got Hogbite and Bradford. And let's use Lily on the Atlas. It's a five school difficulty mission in the Highlands, and we gotta capture a base. So I'm curious to see how well this team is going to deal with it. We have three ultra heavy assault mechs. The Bull Shark uh, as a as a DLC mech, the Annihilator is kind of the king of uh, the DLC pack. The Atlas itself is a fantastic mech, and soon, hopefully, even the Atlas too. So the team is getting quite stacked. It, I'm actually excited. Good, let's drop into the mission. Hygen, Bradford, Hogbite, and of course, Lily. 
Just landed in the highlands. Man, it is a sea of green out there. Affirmative, Commander. Confirm. Good. Let's sprint up. And boy, oh boy, I don't want to fight over here. But that is the end of the map already. And at least we got some sort of off tree line over here. No problem. On my way. Don't need to tell me twice. The little disadvantage that you're of course going to have is as soon as you run only assault max, the team is no longer as nimble as it has been before. Good, let's eliminate the base turrets that, to be honest, that really should not even be a problem at this point. Supposing these super heavy turrets? No, nope. just a heavy turret, okay, cool. So Atlas moves forward. And we got quite a few, uh, quite a few uh, LRMs here. Good, back and can we hit that tower? Yes, we can. Fantastic. To be honest, I think the USC five is more than enough. There we go. Turret structure destroyed. By. Red Fort sprints over here with the Annihilator. Oh hell yeah! Gets on. Oh hell yeah! Roger that. All right, Tigan moves up, and of course we're seeing more enemies. So what we got? Heavy LRM turret, okay. Fantastic, that guy at least died. We got another turret over here. Good. We got another turret over here, which is already the end of the map, I wonder. Where are all of the enemies? Bull shark moves up on you, Commander. and Atlas moves up as well. Moving fast. I mean, they could be theoretically down there, but Ready to rock. Roger that, really they aren't. Locking off with all weapons distance. Target destroy. All right, there is a fourth turret right over there. On my way, double time. Full throttle. Got it. Good. I mean, don't tell me that that is the entire mission. That would be majorly disappointing. Okay, good. We have at least three assault mechs against us. Let them take the first move. All right. So we got a battle master and potentially two other unknown. Let me just uh, see. Thumper cannon. Okay, good. Going a tiny bit further back. Definitely vigilance for the extra defense. And that means we can only hit two. But I'm okay with it. it. 
plenty of damage. What are your orders, Skipper? I'm there. All right, moving up. And I want to save some heat. So we're sensor locking. That also reduces the heat quite substantially. And there is the last the last assault. So we're fighting against a full assault lance. Fair enough. What's up, boss? Moving up with the annihilator, vigilance. And that battlemaster should take some serious damage now. Structure exposed, lost an arm. Inflicted some heavy damage. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 wow. Okay, well, we're fighting against up real good here. an enemy annihilator. <laughs> okay. Good, our Atlas. Let's try to get that Battlemaster down. Good, that was pretty convincing. Orion here has a stability, but not necessarily oh, a armor problem. Again, sensor locking. I think we're uh, we're going to hit the annihilator next. The battlemaster just. The Battlemaster just uh, doesn't deal enough damage anymore. Our Annihilator moves over because there is soon going to be someone landing over here. These are kill spots. And that Annihilator runs four AC-10s. A couple of medium lasers. Okay, cool. Roger. Fantastic hits onto the center torso. Supporting critical hit. I'm going to wait with the bull shark. He still has all of uh, the defense. I've been sensor locked. Battlemaster just sensor locks because he's nearly completely out of steam. I think we need to have a different place for the Atlas. This isn't perfectly working out. We can still use the LRMs. And that's not an issue. Like, they are still do doing their job. But we have. We've loaded way more weapons, so the Atlas should be able to stand in a better position. Bull Shark, similar issue. Potentially going to get a retaliation for that. It's a bit of a greedy play. All committed. Fantastic, it worked out. Because we've opened the torso, the, um, the mech was prone for attacks. We're of course getting retaliated upon now, but not that bad. Oh, 
gone now. Hmm. I sort of mislike the position that we're finding ourselves in, so we're going to slowly but surely fall back. And what I want to do is want to make sure that these guys need to come in much more, much more so than us kind of moving into them. Bull shark moves up. Vigilance. And let's hit all three of them with a thumper cannon again. Fantastic hit, by the way. My PC is not liking it at all, but the thumper cannon definitely worked out well reporting serious armor loss there is an enemy bull shark that we're fighting against interesting all right so this guy has taken some damage but not majorly He'll potentially retaliate. Yeah, but luckily we got 40% less damage on the Annihilator here. So that worked out just well. Aye, aye. Okay. Annihilate. Uh, not really. Annihilator moves in. Acknowledged. And let's continue to focus on this battle master. It's almost down as far as I'm concerned. Alright, Ryan moves up. And yeah, I think we're going to try to hit the bull shark and reduce some of its of its offensive potential. Head hit, fantastic. I just hope that, that uh, the guy will not use His thumper. Ushak here moves up. And we're down to 110 hit points on the torso. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Good. The spellmaster is mostly done as well. We're putting ourselves in reserve because the Annihilator currently has 40% damage reduction and I want to keep that. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. All right, for once, the Atlas can move up. All right, two medium lasers, yeah. 
the Atlas is the old, uh, the Bushark is the only one left Time to die. with a decent arsenal of weapons. Almost has no armor left at this point, but has a target rich environment. So Commander. the Annihilator might as well move up. And hit the bull shark. All right, here we go. Didn't really get to the meaty part. Bull shark still has all of its weapons. Reporting. But since it is so unstable and was almost overheated. Couldn't really cope with the situation so well. All right, let's continue to harass this guy here. I'm on him. Reporting critical hit. Fantastic, highly unsteady, and unless the guy is going to act, which he does. I was about to say, unless he acts, we are going to Moving just to kill it. Target confirmed. Fantastic. Our Annihilator <laughs> is just bringing him down. Oh boy. The first uh, assault versus assault fight. Got an armor blow through in the left leg of the Orion. Good to go. Good, our Atlas will precision strike and get that guy down. Good. That battle master is down. Bang, that was dead. almost a 400 uh, ton lance uh, that has been fighting against us. I mean, to be fair, we've been dropping three near 100 ton mechs ourselves. So there's really no point in complaining. They were more or less equally strong compared to us. Moving out. One thing that I didn't like is that right hand side in our inability to move away from there. That made it a bit awkward because there was no real good um, cover to be had. So that could have gone sideways. But yeah, they were moving in and you could see even as an assault mech, right? I mean, we, we don't have end game specs yet, but even as an assault mech, you can't just go and stand alone and expect that you will be able to survive four other rather heavy mechs uh, focusing you. It's not quite, that, that's just not how it works. 1,100 experience and quite a bit of funds available for us. Of course, having an Annihilator pick or a Bullfrog, both of uh, those uh, would be nice, but we're saving for that Atlas 2 that I really want to buy, which would nicely round out our spec. The Atlas that we now had, like the quote unquote missile boat, that can do more than just being a missile boat, that was unfortunate. I am thinking about maybe giving it longer uh, longer lasers once we do have the funds to go for extended range medium lasers because then it would really have an engaged distance of 400 500 meters and could stay back and still be useful those extended range weapons specifically the medium lasers 
are really, really helpful. And of course, extended range, small lasers. Fantastic weapon. Good. So let's take a look. Pretty standard. Ready to get it on. Well, that's a lot of experience that we're getting. So finally, to the better abilities, ace piloting being one of them, for instance. I'd like to get kind of six in most of the skills because it'll help enormously. Um, all of them, all, all of the level six abilities have a passive bonus that is helpful. For instance, if you take piloting six, that extra sprint is super good. More melee defense. Like just compare this amount here, hit defense, melee defense versus that amount same goes for the called shot bonus which is helpful and if you look at guts that extra health point is also not not too bad so the only ability that does not necessarily get something other than base weapon hit is gunnery and gunnery is always a fantastic investment but yeah the way that it works um you can theoretically like level one of them up and just drop the others is as lower scores <coughs> but in a in a longer lasting campaign specifically with slow progression you're not getting those upper values fast enough it is worthwhile to have a, a well-rounded skill set okay so the next time we're going to do another five uh, school mission which is this distraction mission here Ah, we're potentially going to do a bit of a black side recovery. And that one is interesting because it's only half a million. So maybe we're actually doing the salvage here and we're pocketing the 1.2 mil over here. 1.5 mil right there. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Problem is, after we're done with those missions, we will need to get... Um, back to the honored stat uh, status because currently we're at 87 this year will be minus 12 so 75 and that is another minus 11 yeah suboptimal specifically since you can't get over 100 so you can't store excess but like i said i would want to have the funds so maybe we're just doing that one mission and skipping on this one and instead trying to build our favor back up in terms of navigation just a thought i guess we wanted to maybe do this one here next and work a bit for the draconis combine also not bad that's a four and a half goal area so here we could work with both of them not sure if the free worlds league will even work with us anymore but yeah there are a couple of other options so if i take the good old five star now five school stars why isn't that properly filtering okay i see none of them are solid five school so four and a half is already the max i was almost thinking that there were five school systems apparently i was wrong game always gives you a bit lower missions but yeah there are quite a few over here and up here so that's wrong by the way that is the correct one Quite a few over here, a lot in here, and those would be the most difficult systems. This one here looks interesting. High gravity, uninhibited battlefield. It's kind of an old, an old battlefield. This one here is also looks also interesting. Yeah, but. We're going to do a few more flashpoints and uh, let me get that 
Atlas 2 as well. That sounds like a good idea. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.